Hey guys, we got Kyle here. We'll start off with Michael. Hey Kyle, how's it going, man? It's going good. How about you? Good. So I guess just walk me through yesterday. Like how how close were you to not playing? How how beat up were you? How close were you to to being functional? I guess. Um, uh, that's kind of weird, but uh, I would say I was I wasn't beat up. I was I was fine. It just it just didn't go the way it, it was. I guess I planned. Yeah, no, I asked if Arthur kind of hinted that you were pretty, you know, that you kind of gutted it out yesterday. Mm. Man, yeah, so everyone was kind of dinged up at the last game of the season, so just going out there, you know, playing for the rest of the guys on the team. I was and, always and now that your year's over, now that the season's over, how do you look at and how do you frame this rookie year for you? Um, I, I feel like it was an okay start. Uh, I feel like it's a lot more to work on and achieve. So I think it's just, you know, the first step. Appreciate it. Thanks. Josh? Hey, Kyle. Hey, what's going Do you on? have a off-season plan? I know it's just get, became the off-season about 12 hours ago. Do you have an off-season plan? Will you take two weeks off? Or you haven't had probably – don't feel like you've had any time off in two years. Um, but how will that structure go for you? Um, I'll, I'll take some time off initially, and then I'll just get back in the swing of things, get back running, lifting weights, and, you know, doing the on-the-field stuff. How do you think that what you have learned in the last four months will impact what what you do in the offseason in terms of, you know, how, how much better will your preparation be able to be because you now understand exactly kind of what you're dealing with? I think it'll be way better, you know, just because, like you said, just learning everything that I've seen in the season and OTA since I declared, just knowing how I can do things different to kind of, you know, be a better athlete and human. Any surprises this year? I mean, maybe everything was a surprise on some level, but anything that stood out in terms of, okay, I, you didn't see that coming? Uh, no. Thanks, Kyle. Chris? Hey Kyle, is there was there a moment um, this season that you could pinpoint that you would call your your favorite moment of the season or your your best best moment of the year, anything like that? Um, I would either say the first game, I would say either the first game or the last game, just starting out the year and then ending it with the guys, you know, that were in our room. Those are you know two pretty cool moments because you know we built a long line since. I, I got drafted and we all been kind of close knit and you know together. So it just was pretty you know fun playing with those guys and then not the right way. And and how about for, in terms of like the biggest challenges this, this season? What what were some of those? Um, just staying on schedule. Um, you know, trying to rehab my body, find different ways to rehab it better, and just get away from the game mentally and physically. You know, when I do have the chance. And you said in your first the. For a little bit after the off season, you you won't do football stuff. What what would that look like for you? Is that vacation? Is that video games? What what does that look like for the for the? Yeah, that's confidential. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'll go on vacation. You know, take some time away. You know, spend time with my family, and then I'll get back to it. Thanks, y'all. D one. Uh, maybe not. Tori? I'm here. Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, d -Line. I hit it twice. I was already into my, um, I was thanking Kyle for being uh, available to us every week during the season, just about, and I appreciate your help uh, and so forth. Um, just a question on where and what area of your game or areas of your game do you feel that you made uh, the biggest strides this year? Uh, I would just say mentally trying to uh, read defense better. I feel like I got better since OTA is all the way up to the last game, trying to be able to play faster, be able to, you know, play at a high level of speed. So that was something I kind of, you know, felt myself getting better at each week. And um, were the route combinations uh, 
a little bit different from pros in college? And how was that in developing how to, to you know, set up and run your routes? Um, I would say they're slightly different, but at the end of the day, it's just ball because everybody kind of runs the same thing and it's kind of mirrored. But uh, just, yeah, you know, like, I mean, it was some different combinations and some different things. But uh, I think it was it was it's kind of cool to kind of learn different ways, you know, rather than college where it was a little more, I'll get you to say, uh, slow it down. And then lastly, um, how difficult was it learning all the positions? I mean, some people have problems learning just flanker, but you know, you moved around and uh, were uh, proficient in uh, several spots in the offense. How difficult was that? And, and you know. Um, uh, how was that process for you, and will that help you moving forward? Um, I love that challenge. Uh, when Coach Smith originally told me, you know, that I have to lock in and mentally get, you know, I would say just mentally get right and just be able to learn everything and try and grasp the whole offense and try and learn it by position. So just taking on that challenge and, you know, put, putting the extra time in after practice, before practice, to try and mentally get ready, um, that was something that was kind of, and I like doing. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you. Tori? Yeah, just a big picture question for me. I mean, Arthur was talking last night about laying the foundation for this organization in the first year. Uh, from your just perspective, what kind of do you see the foundation being here um, after year one with Arthur? I would say just a tough, hardworking, blue collar team. Um, situationally where you know he, everything that he preaches i you know i think that uh this year was a, st a starting stone and i think and, you know we'll go up from here cool thanks Kyle. we got time for a couple more charles Kyle, I did. oh you're muted charles i did it twice just like d led uh the um can you just talk about the, the the pressures you felt, if any, uh, as you guys had some some volatility on the depth chart at wide receiver? You had to uh, take on a a big role for any tight end, but especially a rookie one. And and did you feel that pressure during this season? And did you did you sense uh, changes during the season as to how defenses treated you? Um, I would say I I kind of did my best to not even think about anything in the area of pressure because that kind of will weigh you down mentally and physically. So just, you know, just rolling with the punches, everything that happened and all the injuries that happened uh, this year and just, you know, this team just keep fighting and other people having to go in other positions and still perform. But, you know, it wasn't, I don't think it was anything, you know, too heavy to, you know, wear, you know, weigh me down. And can you share uh, what it's like at, at the facility today? Um, uh, have you um, had exit interviews already? And 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 what's it like with, um, I guess, a lot of black uh, black bags in the uh, locker room with cleaning out lockers? Um, I mean, it's still a, it's still a great vibe. It's, it's still a team. It's still you know brotherhood that we a close bond that we all have. It's, it's you know it's great vibes. You know, a lot of a lot of us rookies in the year one uh, guys just. Uh, finishing the year out healthy, you know, blessed, and it's, it's no negative vibes, you know, it's, it's all good. Awesome. Thanks, Kyle. We'll have Cordero on.